Switch Pro. <laughs> <laughs> well, the new Nintendo Switch Pro <laughs> is incoming. Uh, so oh, yeah, the Super Nintendo Switch. The Super Nintendo, the new Super Nintendo Switch Pro. Mm. Uh, so credible reports from Bloomberg. And then also backed up actually by Eurogamer with their own sources mm. are saying that it appears that Nintendo is ready to announce the new Switch model and not only announce it at E3, it's announced it before E3 at this stage. And at one point uh, over the last, what was it, three or four days, people felt like it might have been announced before even the podcast went live. So like, you know, Friday, Saturday, our time. I was worried about that. I'm like, oh man, do I have to change the run sheet? <laughs> <laughs> Being the nerd that I am, the thing about that is, in the states, it's more Memorial Day, so Monday is a day off for everyone, well, like majority of people in America. But a lot of companies give Friday off as well, and that's the same as Nintendo of America. They give Friday off. Now, fully understand that Nintendo is really run by Japan, but I am sure they would observe. Well, Nintendo America won't actually be at the office on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Would be pretty insane to announce something this large where the bulk of the staff aren't there. Like that mm. seems like even for Nintendo a dick move. Um, so because they didn't get announced on like early Friday our time, I was like, oh, okay, they're not going to announce it. But that kind of then makes you go, well, probably the earliest they will announce it is like Wednesday our time, but more like Tuesday their time. The other one is that uh, it actually got accidentally listed on Amazon Mexico. Now, normally you go, oh, yeah, whatever. The only problem with it, it about kind of going that it's fake or whatever is that the only people that can actually list those type of listings for pre-order on Amazon are the people who own the brands. So actually own those accounts. So mm -hmm. I can't go on Amazon. I can go on Amazon and list a Nintendo Switch and say it's available for $800 but I can't list for pre-order a new product unless I own the brand. So, and it, they've stuffed up a lot of times in the past, uh, Amazon Mexico. There's a few games where they, like Spyro, they listed it, the Spyro trilogy re-release. Hmm. And then they took it down straight away. So look, you know, for a long time, we've all felt this is, this is coming, but it does actually seem like there's a lot of things pointing to it coming out very, very rapidly. And, it's going to be interesting because the Nintendo Switch, they just released that as a Twitter post. The Switch Lite, sorry. So I yeah. kind of wonder, they, is that all they're going to do with this as well? Well, so we've we've talked about in previous segments, you know, what the reported details are around, you know, like the new 7-inch screen uh, and, you know, the 4K support and stuff. I've started hearing some stuff that maybe this doesn't have the 4K support. I don't mm -hmm. know. It's kind of like I'm. It's. Do we still think this is the full upgrade? As in the proper. Because, pro yeah, it worries me because it says with previous model being phased out, right? I think it's the. So, I think it's like the new 3DS. I don't. Yeah, I think the I've new said 3DS that before. wasn't really a huge boost in performance. Correct. Or anything, was That's it? what I think as well. Uh. But do we still think it's going to have the 4K support DLSS stuff? Look, I think if they can do the DLS, DLSS stuff. It's a no-brainer because it's it's hardware that does that work, hmm. and it kind of makes sense that maybe they'll always just target 1080p and then I, actually DLSS doesn't work like that. They still need to be within some kind of realm of the 4K. It'd have to go to I don't know what it is like 1440 or maybe even higher to then upscale to for 4K. But I I don't know I, I'm not really pro 4K. You guys know that I'm more of a 1080p kind of person. I'd rather. 60 frames per second than worrying about higher resolution. Well, yeah, yeah it's same, just... Especially for Switch games. Yeah, it's just given the fact that I've got a new TV now, I'm much more... Mm -hmm. I'm much more <laughs> observant. <Sensitive> too. <laughs> I'm much more observant of games that do and don't support that stuff Always than, I have, in the, was than I have been in the past. Frame weight. <laughs> so... <laughs> it's changed. No. You've changed, man. You've changed. You used to be cool. No, but you always, it's like, you know, when I got my first 1440p monitors, now, you know, like suddenly it's like yeah. you Man start entry. looking out for the stuff that before you didn't care about. You yeah, know? yeah, for sure. Well, you can see it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. before you couldn't. I'm sure if you look at something that's 720 on your 4K massive ass screen, you'd be like, oh my God, this looks terrible. <laughs> also, the thing is 4K TVs don't upscale very well. So having things in native 4K is kind of important for 4K TVs. Um, so yeah, like, let, yeah let's, let's play some bets, boys. 
Hmm. Is this is this getting announced before E3? I think it is. Probably, yeah. I'd be I'd be more interested in placing bets as to what what it really is. As in, is it really a proper pro model or is it just an upgrade to the existing lineup? And I feel like reading it now, I don't know, I'm starting to think it's just an upgrade. It's not the pro that I thought it would be, if that makes sense. Yeah. It's not the Series X. Sorry, it's not the Xbox One X versus the base console that I thought it might be, where you really get a good good oomph and performance. But maybe you do. I don't know. We'll see. I, I think the announcement before E3, which a lot of these articles have stated, um, really makes sense so that third parties can mention the fact that, you know, like, hey, potentially could mention that, you know, hey, this runs on the new Nintendo Switch or something. Um, and it kind of clears the air for the games lineup as opposed to having to spend half their direct on the new Nintendo Switch Pro or whatever. So. Yeah, look, I'm in the same camp as you, Swinny. Um, I think when, when, yeah, I don't know who said it, but maybe it was in the Bloomberg article, but where they're sort of just saying, getting the announcement out there that just means you can, people can get excited about, hey, this game's going to be supported on the Switch Pro and it's going to run at mm. 60 frames per second. I don't know, like, I, I get what you're saying, Mike, about, like, the big bump or whatever, but number one, Nintendo doesn't really care about that. Number two, they just right. want to make sure everything's profitable. Number three, it's now more than four years old, the Switch. So a four-year jump in technology, even if you're kind of holding everything static in terms of, oh, you don't want to spend more, you don't want to make it a super model or anything, just having a four-year bump in technology, you're going to have a massive increase, Okay. Given given the tech tech that they're using and the maturity and everything, you know, you look at it and I think almost every game that wasn't 60 frames per second should be bumped up to 60 frames per second. To me, that is huge. Like I've been holding off playing Xenoblade Chronicles because honestly it just runs like trash. It's a freaking awesome game, like both of them, but it they just run like trash. And when the Switch Pro comes out, they're some of the first games I want to play. And there's mm. a, a stack of games like Link's Awakening. I'd play that again, but just the hitching and all that kind of stuff just is so annoying, and it really d- threw threw me out of the game too many times. Yeah, but all I'm saying is, uh, don't get your hopes up. It's not guaranteed that it's actually going to fix some of that stuff. Well, I think if the game prevents it from being fixed, that's one thing. But just given the boost in power of four years, it, like I'd be shocked. You'd think it, if it you'd doesn't think it, yeah. go start hitting 60 frames a second the same as like hyrule warriors that runs like crap there's a lot of games on the switch i think we all know that they don't run that well hmm. and for me yeah just getting that bump up is going to be massive it's going to be awesome um and you know honestly as soon as it becomes available on eb games i'm just going to buy it straight away i probably will too let's let's be honest yeah, Are you, yeah. I'll, I'll trade in the one i, I just bought <laughs> <laughs> so i mean we're both day one as what are you where are you going to land on that Sweeney? Well, there's two things here. So, first of all, I want to see what that whole 4K sport upscaling potentially is. <laughs> um, oh, what, You've what changed you so much. What are you <laughs> it's like your new thing now. I like it. 4K Swinney. No, because the, I, the thing is, like, when you're judging, do I want to buy something? You've got to think about, okay, what, what is it worth to me, mm. right? I know. And, like, if when we talked about this before... I'm not super interested in new in in this model because I I'm fine with my current switch. I generally play it docked in at the moment. So the uh, and that gets to my second point is you know the, the it'd be a benefit to me to get new Joy Cons because I'm have I mm. still have ones that drift. Um, but when you combine those two, I'm interested just to see what happens there. I don't think they're going to fix the drift the switch drifting problems, but no. just getting a new set of Joy Cons is. You know, those things are expensive just by themselves. So, um, but I'm just, yeah, I'm interested to see what they do with the hardware. But honestly, I'm I'm not going to be in a rush to get this. And I don't think I'll be able to get one anyway if I wanted it. So, mm. Actually, you know, when I bought, like I, I ordered the Zelda Joy-Cons, mm. I think EB, they're like, oh, you can get 50 or 60 bucks off if you trade in your old Joy-Cons. I'm just like... They surely wouldn't even check if they're drifting or anything. No, they don't. They never check that stuff. I feel like that's just like, I, maybe it's a bit dodgy, but I'm like, surely I'm going to take that deal, right? 
Like, here's, here's my broken ass Joy Cons. <laughs> Give me they the do go ones. to get refurbed and stuff. I just don't know if even there they bothered to check. Or You'd have to dismantle like the whole bloody thing to take all the dirt out because that's basically what happens. All the dirt accumulates on the sensor. Hmm. Yeah. Look, like, let's hope that next week the, the announcement happens. I, I, you just look at Nintendo. One thing that I do wonder is are they going to look at it and go, all these reports have come out. F you, everyone. We're going to now hold it back. <laughs> I mean, they're so insane. They might do something like that, which would be pretty funny. All right. Well, so Swinny's a day one if uh, it's got good 4K support. That's what I'm reading into this. Nope. <laughs> All right. Let's get into our next story. <laughs> 